um, you found a sister in, in Portsmouth, yeah. late, and I have a daughter, mm -hmm. sister Sheila used to sing a song, said, Jesus, remember yeah. when others forget. Okay. Just remember, beloved. That's why I want to keep the laboring for God. Oh, yeah. Knowing we serve the God, said Jesus, he remember when others forget. He's not unrighteous to forget your words. And therefore, I'm so thankful to God Almighty for our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Knowing that God didn't forget his works, his labor, his sacrifice, which he has shown to us the work of the Lord. Amen. Therefore, we thank God for Bishop Green. Amen. Thanking God for all the saints, bishops, elders, ministers, each and every one of you come Amen. together to show your love, honoring the man of God. We are bound to give God thanks for Bishop Green. Yeah. We do thank him God also. We never want to forget our later pastor, mm -hmm. Bishop Brandon Gooden. Thank God these two men of God have been the pioneer of the Holy Temple Church. Oh, yeah. Came in and met them laboring side by side. Mm -hmm. Bishop Goodman have gone on to sleep. Yeah. for the past over 23 years. Mm -hmm. But thank God for Bishop Green. Hallelujah. Thanking Hallelujah. God for God giving him the courage, yes. the boldness yes. to step, to step up. Mm -hmm. My God, you know, many cases you have people take covering. Mm -hmm. But Bishop Green took courage yes. and stepped up for the past 23 years. Step forward to carry on this great work. Hallelujah. Therefore, we thank God for you, Bishop Green. We are thanking God for all these men of God that are standing behind this great work, realizing that indeed it is a great work. Thanking God for our very own beloved Bishop O.C. Lewis, faithful and able here at our headquarters, thank God for him and his labor and his sacrifice. We are thanking God for our very own beloved Bishop Curtis Fox and Mother Ali Fox, thank God for him coming all the way from Greenville, South Carolina, thanking God for our very own beloved Bishop Random Mack, thank God for his family and Elder Derek Weber, Mr. Shula, and all the saints coming from Columbia, South Carolina. We thank God for each and every one of you. Thank him God also for the love. Bishop Willie Bleach, thank God for you, Bishop Bleach, and Mother Bleach. Thank him God for Elder Levi Samuels. Thank God for him and our headquarters church, laboring faithfully. Thank him God for uh, Ella, Ella McMillan, uh, yes, Ella McMillan, faithfully laboring, coming from Mount Scarna, calling him and thank God the Lord blessed him. And we thank God for Ella Wilder and the saints from Evergreen. Thank God for you all. Thank him God for the saints that have put so much, uh, you know, an effort to come together to show the love and the support towards the men of God for his labor and his sacrifice. Thank him God for you, Minister F, Minister Page. We thank God for him, Colonel Page. Thank him God and the saints from Gloucester. Thank him God for our very own beloved Ella. Murray Glover put so much. Thank God called me and made such an all out sacrifice to be here. We thank God for Elder Murray Glover. We want to thank him God for Elder Robinson and the saints coming in also from 
experience very thank you God for each and every one of you. We are bound to give God thanks for all the people of God we have. No fog here, Mother Brown. Thank God for her. Thank you, God, for all Washington, D.C. Thank God for you that are here. We thank God for the wonderful saints here at our headquarters church. Thank God for each and every one of you. You have put so much towards the, the work of the Lord and standing by our beloved Bishop Dalton Green. We thank God for all of the people of God. Thank God for me so happy to see Mother Martin press her way. Thank God for the ones that came along with her. Thank God for Mother Martin. She been a good old soldier from under the late Bishop Randolph Goodwin, Mother Tool, Mother Bastard. She was in that group that always pressed her way. So first, it must be a willing man to thank God for our son and daughter coming in, also make the sacrifice of our beloved evangelist out of the brain and this coming sister Angie and thank God in the rest of the headquarters. They start off in headquarters, but they don't never forget. And that's the beauty I love about that. Bishop Goodwin always reminds us he said, no matter where you go, don't forget headquarters. He said, don't forget where you started from. He said, you started from headquarters. Thank God for my company and also my love. Uh, that was the same. We are bound to thank God. Bishop Green, we thank God for you again. We never can forget the men of God labor. Bishop uh, Falls start off with a beautiful scripture. Say, would that you knew. Everybody don't know. But Paul said, I would that you knew what great conflict I have for you. It's a lot of labor. It's a lot of sacrifice. That's why I love that scripture. Know then that labor among you you know, it's a reason why you leave it on record. It's a lot of labor, and it is a lot of sacrifice to maintain good work. But the word of God tells us in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 12, I don't never want to forget God's man and his labor. So much you got to put up with. So much opposition you gotta go to. You know, and you gotta you gotta have righteous judgment. We thank God for the brother Peter and I think and uh right told me just took the right and the fellowship there. So deep and but you know, as I mentioned, you know, God do be so mindful that the word of God says, watch down in all of you. Because, as I'm saying, there was a time when everybody get together to push along for each other, to be one another burden. But now, things have changed. Everybody is not here for the right purpose. Might as well you acknowledge it. Everybody not around for the right purpose. One place, but, uh, he makes it so plain in Psalms 37. Somebody watching. Somebody watching. Jesus told Peter, Simon, Simon. Satan, he have a desire. The devil have a desire for each and every one of us. He to have a desire Amen. to have you. Yeah. The devil loves to have every one of us. Yeah. But he said, I pray for you yeah. that your faith fail you now. Yeah. And when you get converted, yeah. don't pull your brother down. Yeah. Don't pull your sister down. Yeah. Give them a helping hand. Strengthen your brother. Strengthen your sister. Help 
one another. Amen. Let the strong bear the infirmity of the weak. You know, I've seen Bishop Green. He has he have helped so many. Amen. Every one of you can testify and witness whether you acknowledge it or not. I've seen this man have pushed so many along. I've watched him. I've watched his labor. I watch his sacrifice. Let me get to that scripture here. In First Thessalonians 5 and 12. We beseech you, brethren. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. It's a blessing. Amen. When you can know somebody that labor among you. Among you. Over you in the Lord. You see, God's going to have somebody over you. Yeah. God never leave himself without a witness. Yeah. And are over you in the Lord. And admonish you. Sometimes they're going to admonish you. Yeah. I heard them testifying, Brother Birmingham, how Bishop Green admonished him, but he said, work out for his good. Yeah. Make him the person that he is right yeah. now. And um, everybody can take admonishment. Everybody, you are blessed when you can take admonishment. As I say, I love the brother. I love to see souls coming. But you see, we cannot compromise. Say so we shall not have respect a person in judgment. We got to judge the small as well as the great. I spoke to him about the cat. Somebody watching. Yeah. And they're waiting to walk out of here and say, oh, things get so bad. Yeah. They allow the brothers to come in wearing cap in the church. And Bishop Sam sit up there with Bishop and don't Amen. say nothing. Yeah, do People are watching. Amen. They want something. Yeah. They want something. They, they just sit there. The lying way. What did he say? The wicked. Not the righteous do it. Not the righteous gonna do it. But the wicked. Who doing it? The wicked. That's Bible. That's Psalms 37, 32. That said that lying way. The wicked watches the righteous. Don't think you have somebody watching? Amen. They're just waiting yes, to get a hold to something. Oh, yes. yes. I didn't let that brother stay. I spoke with that around and said, I spoke to him already. I don't care how hard mm. Amen. We're not going to compromise. Right. We cannot bow That's down. Right. If right. Brother Fred Williams come in for years since in the 70s, and he have that spot. He have a worse a spot than what that brother had. Yeah, he have a worse a spot all over him. Yeah, and Brother Fred Williams never put on that. Yeah, Bishop Goodwin pray for him. Bishop Green pray for him. Yeah, we pray for him. Yeah, but we didn't say we are a cap. Yeah, and you hate him. Because then we'll be going a call against the word of God. Yeah. The word of God tells us we got to set up a standard. Amen. And we got to obey the word of God. Amen. Then the old man pray, our mm -hmm. prophet, and with his head yeah. cover yeah. this honor, mm -hmm. his head. Amen. And somebody waited to get a hold to that. Said that I'm gone against the word of God. But the word said the wicked watches you. What the wicked watches the righteous. Watch it. The righteous is seeking to slay him. Somebody always looking for opportunity oh, yeah. to slay him. Yes. But the Lord will not leave him in his hand. My God says God knows how to take care of his people. All you got to do, God said, you walk before me and be perfect and I will bless you. Bishop Green have done just that. He have labor, he have sacrifice, 
He had given so much towards this great world. And God didn't forget it. That's why we are all here, sitting in heavenly places, acknowledging him and thanking God for it. Because the word tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 12. We can teach you, brethren, nothing wrong for us to come together to honor the man of God and thank God for him. We beseech you, brethren, yes, to know them which labor among you. Know them which labor among you. Amen. Which labor. Some people will give more honor to somebody out there they don't even know. Amen. But the men of God who they watch the laboring and sacrifice, they will pass right by. But the Holy Ghost said, Know them. Labor among you. Which labor among you. Over you in the Lord. Or somebody over you. In the Lord. In the monastery. And you're going to be admonished. Read on. And to esteem them very highly in love. For the word Do you hear what the word of God said? Yes, Excellent. That's why we set aside this day to come to honor it. And esteem him very highly. In love, in love for the word's sake. For the word's sake. And be at peace among yourself. Be at peace oh. among yourself. Do you hear what the word of God said? Not yes. to be fussing Amen. and upset about. Amen. Just be. I was sitting here and the scripture jumping on where Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Amen. You know, it's a blessing when you can follow peace Amen. and be at peace on yourself. And no Bishop Green for over 40 seven and nobody can ever say and come in and see me and Bishop Green fussing and I'm going again. You know what? I follow peace. Amen. Be at peace. Yes, among yourself. You don't have to go around fussing and fighting. Amen. Get me that scripture in Matthew chapter 5 and verse and verse 1. Start from the beginning. Matthew. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. Went up into a mountain. And when he was sent, his disciple came unto him. Read on. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying. And taught them, saying. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Are the poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn. Blessed are they that mourn. They shall be comforted. The Holy Ghost said, They shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. But, saints, only you know Bishop Green. Nobody can ever say he's a man full of pride. Amen. Ever since I met him, I found him to be a meek man of God. Whatever Bishop Goodwin tell him to do, he will right there for him. Get this 707 ready. He got up there for about a month ahead of time up in Brownswood and paid the bus, paid the tire, labor hard, come you conference. He will drive the bus all the way here. Stop, go to Evergreen for the week. My God, the saints were there laboring. Amen. I mean, Bishop Green, while we sleeping, he driving. Yeah. Then he drove all the way. Bishop started to go all the way to, 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 to Tennessee, Amen. to Camden, Florida, Amen. Jacksonville, Florida, coming on back to Evergreen. Wilson, yep. then head on back on into New York. It's a lot of labor. It's a lot of labor. It's a lot of sacrifice. We went to Evergreen. That's why I can never forget Greenville. When Greenville first came in, my God, I went up there with Bishop Goodman, uh, Joe, and met Helen McMillan. Thank God they came in. 
and they came to Evergreen for the first time. We had that service. They gave us 78, and Bishop Green, we were so tired of driving the bus, and we end up getting a little bed in the trailer, a whole trailer outside, and we and Bishop Green and the late Ella Perry, we were sleeping. We asked anyone to make remarks, reflection, and Bishop Green labor. So that's what I'm doing. Making up his labor and his sacrifice. We were in that little trailer house outside. Must be 2.33 in the morning. We heard a knocking so loud. Bishop Green said, who is it? The voice said, me, Bishop Random Green. Open the door. We opened the door. We were knocked out sleeping. Bishop Green got up, yes sir. He said, I got some sisters just came in from Greenville. And they don't have any real step in. They said, why in the world do they got here on the screen in the morning? They don't know where they go. But Bishop Green said, he said, the honor. He said, all right, I want you all to come out and let the sister come in the chair. He's the assistant pastor now. Without any remark, any other word, he said, yes, sir. He said, all right, all right, virgin, we got to get out. <laughs> it's a good thing to stay at the door and say, I took all your belongings. You won't be going back no more. <laughs> You got to give the place. I look at Bishop Green. I said, Bishop, I'm watching Bishop Green now. I said, Bishop Green, where are we going? Three o'clock in the morning, I'm looking around everywhere, dark. <laughs> Bishop Green said, Papa, I don't know. He said, Fox out a hole of dirt next, so I'm going to find a place to lay my head. So I keep following Bishop Green with my luggage and everything. Three o'clock in the morning, and I'm watching. It was so dark, I couldn't see where we going. So I watched Bishop Green. So he had to go on the bus. So I thought I'd be going in the bus to sleep. Then he pulled down the luggage compartment, and he spread out his few blankets that he had. And he rolled up underneath that luggage where they keep the luggage. So I rolled up underneath there with him. And that's where his bed were until we're ready to leave. Saints, tell me that's not a humble man of God. Tell me that's not a meek man of God. How many, how many assistant pastors will jump and say, that's why. You got to know them. Before you go criticize, when you see me honoring the man and thanking God for his labor, I will tell him somebody before the crowd came along, I watched him. He was out there. When it snow, Bishop Green will come around while he get his breath and he push it all the way around and put the soil down. Come on a Sunday morning, make sure the church is clean. We have 7.30 to 8.30 prior. Then Bishop Green would, would, would get ready, busy, pick up Mother Chisholm, go all the way to Long Island, pick up Mother Small, pick up Mother Cummings, and come on back and be right here in time. Come and dine to open up the service. Know them. Know them. Do you believe a man like this is worthy of double honor? I'm not happy for Bishop Green. I'm glad for Bishop Green. All his labor and all his sacrifice that he has put for going to Newark and a Sunday night of the service stirs the night in New, New Jersey, preach and head on back. My 
God and the word of God said, you know what? You know what James said? We count them happy. That endure. Everybody not going to endure. Everybody want the blessing, but they don't want the suffering. But the Holy Ghost said, before honor, these men have been humiliated and been through so much, but somebody want to come back here and kick back and criticize and want some honor without going through what he been through. Come turn over so many things he went through, but he still wouldn't give up. He still wouldn't draw back. Say, you gotta be, he always said, you gotta be steadfast. You gotta be able to continue. It's a blessing to have a mind to continue. It's a blessing to read on that little bit. It's blessed. blessed. All the me. All the me. But then she inherit the earth. Stay, stay humble. Amen. Humble yourself in the love. Amen. Under the mighty hands of God. For they shall inherit the earth. Inherit the earth. Let's say they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. After righteousness, they shall be filled. They shall be filled. Let's say the mercy. Blessed. And not be merciful. They want mercy, but they won't show mercy. Some people want to be on the receiving side, but not on the giving side. Bishop Green have been and all side you're putting on. My God, he have labor. It's, it's a shame. Read on. That's how the merciful. Merciful. They shall obtain mercy. They shall obtain mercy. That's how the pure in heart. Pure, your heart got to be pure. Praise God. You, your heart, you got to have a clean heart. Paul said, I've committed no man. I have envied no man. Bishop Green helped everybody. Here, the sister and the saints said, Bishop Green were right. They called. When I got electrocuted, he'll pick up the phone and pray for me. How are you feeling this? I'm going to. In my lowest state, he didn't forget me. It's a blessing to have somebody like this. Read on. Let's all the pure in heart. Pure in God. They shall see God. Let's all the peacemaker. You know, try your best, beloved. He all, always hear him preach that message. For as much that lieth within you, if it be possible, yes. live how? Peace. Follow peace. I mean, if you see somebody struggling, help that person. Amen. Help that person. Amen. Help. He said, when thou art converted, do what? Help your brother. Remember you were there and somebody have patience with you. Somebody was there for you. Somebody have helped that person to get out. Read on. Bless her, the peacemaker. Bless her. Are the peacemaker. Are the peacemaker. They should be called the children of God. They shall be called the children of God. You want to be a child of God? Yes. You got to obey God's word. Hallelujah. You got to obey whatever is written in the word of God. You can't diminish it. Bishop Green has been there for so many of us. It made me think of Make me think of Moses over there in, in Deuteronomy chapter 9. And we said, how many, how many know how many times Bishop Green bowed his knees in those 9 to 10 prior, morning prior. He were right there crying out to God for us. Here, mother had the testimony how, how Bishop Green said he had the dream. The men were preaching at every stage. The same voice he got up, well, the same voice Bishop Goodwin in prayer crying out to God. Somebody done pray for you before you got here. 
Don't forget many times. I will write you many times. Bishop, Bishop, Bishop Quillen said, you know, they better thank God for green. Some of them I would bid and put out. That's what Bishop what Bishop Green was back there begging Bishop Good. He said he would get me that scripture. Deuteronomy 9. And I did all the things remember he told me that. He said, you know, all the trouble. But he said, I'm praying. But they better thank God for green. That's what he told me now. I'm telling you what he told me. He said, I would bring put out some. But green encouraged me. Give them another chance. Somebody was there for you. Crying out to God. Read on Deuteronomy 9, I believe, 7, and let's move on and get out of the way. Read on. I just want to leave this with you. Deuteronomy 9 and 7. Remember when you were, remember when you was always on the mountain top where you are now. What did he say? Remember and forget now. How that the Lord You know, people are so quick to forget from whence they came. God said, remember. And forget now. Don't forget. How that the Lord is. Read it, read it. How you remember and forget now. How that the Lord is the Lord thy God. How you provoke. Lord thy God to wrath. People, you know, I'm afraid. I don't know what God's going to do before it's all over. People don't get beside themselves now. They don't get out. They don't get beside themselves. The fear of God is not no more. And God got, God said, I kill. People playing with God. I look at Perrine, uh, uh, the evangelist Perrine. This man lay on his dying bed. Stand up, Perrine, am I right? He lay down in the corner. He called me. The wife going through, son going through with it. And he begged me to come. Bishop Mack can tell you, there was a part of it. People were just dying, jumping. I said, Bishop Mack. I don't know why he wanted to come over here. People dying. I said, I pray. I pray for you over the phone, son. I'm all right. I tell him I pray for you more. What you tell him? He said, he said, sir, if you can just come over my house. And you don't know who you're going to need before it's all over. That was a great test for me. I turned to Bishop Mack. Bishop Mack said, he wouldn't want you to come. Okay. I said, I tell him I pray for him over the phone. He said, sir, if you can just come, I believe something will change. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. And I beg God, I bow. I said, Lord, he said, you won't put none. Yeah, Even if you won't put it up on your own. And Lord, I'm going, I don't know, Lord, but I'm going. He said, he got it, his wife got it, his son got it. And I'm going in. I said, Lord. He said, it takes a lot of faith. I'm telling people, don't get beside yourself. You don't know who you're going to need before, before it's all over. He called for me and I humbled myself. And when I go, he, he told me, I don't make my peace with my family, my wife. I'm just saying, my God, when I'm walking, I gotta have bones. I'm walking there and I'm proud and I fell on my face right at the bedside. And I cried out to heaven. My God, I began to pray. I began to cry out to God Almighty. Oh, thou that heareth prayer, and to thee shall all flesh come. Have mercy, have mercy. My God, I feel, I feel the poor. I feel the poor. And prayer went out, and I feel the 
the cold. I kind of feel the cold. I said, I just I don't send the fire. I said, I'm looking for a result. I'm looking for victory. I said, I'm looking to God Almighty. Is in his hand. And went and prayed, but and down there with them talking, getting ready, he just stretched up and made my peace. But then after I'm downstairs, getting ready to head on back to the church, I heard something walking down the stairs. I said, Who that one? And the other, I said, Look, I see Barry. Barry, what you say, God tell me, what you say? Said God told him, go downstairs and tell him. I've seen there now from that door. From that door. From that door, said, don't tell me God not a healer. But if I didn't know how to humble yourself, his wife was the same way. Back in front, he called me. They were up here in New York. He called me and said, my wife turned pale. And next he said, my wife done passed out. My, while I was on the phone with him, he said, Bishop, she passed out. My God, I said, three o'clock in the morning, here on my arm, my knees. Had to bow before God, crying out to heaven. I said, I, the enemy said, don't call. I tell the devil, I'm going to call. He said, don't call. You're going to hear a letter crying. The children, she done gone. And I got on my knees and got in the spirit. And they got to cry out to him. My God, when I was speaking in time, my, 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 the son, my wife were in the bed sleeping. When I was wrestling, she jumped out the bed speaking in time. My God, God is a healer. I tell the devil I'm going to call. Hey, the devil, you're going to hear some crying. I said, Lord, I'm going to call. And when I call, let she speak up the phone. My God, and when I call, she pick up the phone and say, I'm still here. <laughs> it's not about me saying, I'm using this to show you. Somebody done bow their knees for you. Don't let the devil let you all get beside yourself. Another test is coming. Let's sing a song Say, there is a storm out. A storm is out there. It's out on the ocean. You might done past the first and second, but it's moving. It's moving your way. It's moving. If you're not on God, it's coming your way, beloved. My God, you when you think you got it made, when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction coming. Read on, let me finish. How about you think you're provoking God? Lord, thy God to wrath. Let every man be what? Swift to hear, slow to speak. Your tongue on the cross will get in trouble. Some of you in trouble right now. You can't go against God, man, and prosper. How? You're not provoking me. You're provoking God. Read on. Lord, I got to rap in the wilderness. What? In the wilderness. In the wilderness? On the day that God did depart out of the land of Egypt. Read on. Until he came into a place. Read on. He had them rebellious. People have been. That doesn't have to start rebellious. They were rebellious back there with Moses. They were rebellious against the Lord. Against who? Against the Lord. They thought they were doing it against against Moses, but they were doing it against God. Why? Right. God said, touch not my anointing. Don't do my prophet. Read on. Also, who have you provoked the Lord to wrath? Provoking God to wrath. So that the Lord was angry with you. The worst thing you want to do is fall in the hands of an angry God. So the Lord was angry with you. He was angry with you. To have destroyed you. Huh? To have destroyed you. He could have, he would have have destroyed you. Read on. When I was going up into the mountain to receive the tables of stone. Jump to verse 8. 
18 to the cut time. Verse 18 now. Now I fell down before the Lord as the first 40 days and 40 nights. Saints, you know somebody bowing their knees before God for us. Bishop Green have fell him and Bishop Goodwin. Send young man. You heard this prayer. Say, tell God, send old man. Send, send, send young one. Send musician. He fell down. Yeah, before the Lord. Before the Lord. Yeah, it's the first 40 days and 40 nights. Read on. I didn't need to eat bread nor drink water. Somebody got off of the body. I was there in Jamaica and Bishop Goodwin said, you see all those places, me and we like travel. Said he fasted 40. He fought, fasted eight days and eight nights. And would go back and the plane after encouraging. He said, I haven't have a man. I read a like that. But you know what he tell me? He get lifted up. He said, pride. That's why I warn people, you got to watch pride. You got to watch your company, who you hang out with. You got to know how to separate yourself. Pride going before destruction in our heart. Every time I've seen pride and I'm hanging around, lifted up, I'm gone. God hates even the look of pride. Read on. I didn't need to eat bread nor drink water. Somebody make a sacrifice for you to get here. Somebody give up bread. Somebody give up water. Because of your sins. Read on. Which he sin and go wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Provoke God to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure. The worst thing is when you lose fear for God. Hallelujah. The man of God said, I was afraid of the anger. Of the anger. Of hot displeasure. Hot displeasure. When with the Lord is wrought with against you. God was, you. you don't want God to get angry with you. The worst thing you can ever do is fall in the hands of an angry God. To destroy. God was so angry he would destroy them. And what? But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. God hearkened to these men and cry out to God Almighty. The Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. At that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron. My God, my God. You don't want God to be angry with you. God was so, so, he was so angry. He was so angry with Aaron till an even mirror. He said, will thou? One place said, will you listen now my counsel to make yourself right? But God was so angry with Aaron back there in, in Numbers chapter 12 and verse 8 and mirror. God was about to destroy them. Read on. Numbers 12 and 8. Continue. Numbers 12 and 8. What is it? You got it? What? Numbers 12 and 8? Yes. With him will I speak mouth to mouth. Read on. Even a parent. Read on. And not in dark speech. Read on. And in similitude of the Lord, of the Lord shall he behold. Read on. Wherefore, then, were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? You know, when you lose the fear of God, Lord Jesus. the worst thing is for you to lose your fear Man, of God. Praise God. He said, were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Anytime I, I, I hear people talking against God's servant, I'm going to withdraw myself. I don't want no part of that. I don't want God said to tell them, come out. Yes. you be destroyed with these wicked men. You got to know when to separate yourself, saying. 
You don't let, I don't want to be so dedicated to somebody knowing. No, sir. And I'm going to ride along with them. You are going to rise up against God, man. God said, were well, you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? When people lost the fear of God, ain't no limit what they won't do. My God, ain't no limit. But saints, all before I sit down, I'm encouraging you. Keep on praying. Don't lose the fear of God. The last thing can ever happen to a saints of God. It's when you lose the fear of God. God said, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Don't this, don't diminish. Whatever God say, don't change it for nobody. Don't change God's purpose to try to link up with anyone. Stay in the will of God. Don't change it. Amen. Don't change it, beloved. He told, he told Moses those same words. I believe it's in Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Listen to what he tells me. Don't diminish it. Don't take away anything from it. God ain't going to change for me. There is no respect of person with God. What he say to one, he say it to all. He don't care what my position, what it is. He said, humble yourself under the mind. You run me for one line. Yes. Now therefore hearken away Israel. O Israel. Unto the statue and unto the judgment. Unto the judgment. Which I teach you. Which I teach you. Or to do them. To do what? To do them. To do them. That ye may live. That ye may live. And go in and possess the land which the Lord thy God, Lord God of your Father, give you. Read on. Ye shall not add unto the word. Don't add. Don't add. Unto the word. Don't add to the word. Which I command you. Which I command thee. Neither shall ye diminish all from it. Don't diminish from it. Yes, that you may keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. The Lord your God. Which the Lord your God. Which I command you. Which I command you. Your eyes have seen. People have seen so much. They came in here, that's what I want. You have seen so much in the holy temple. Your eyes have what? Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Elohim. Some of you have seen so much right in here. And you're going to let the enemy deceive you? Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Belchor. For and all the men that followed Belchor. You, you better watch who you follow. Oh, yes. All the men that followed Belchor. What happened? The Lord thy God has destroyed them from among you. You better watch who you link yourself with. Everyone that link up with that man, God destroy everyone. God destroy everyone. Totem and all of them, those 200 men that rise up against Moses. He said, you better separate yourself from these wicked men. You see what God says, Moses, God will do a new thing. God open up the earth. Do what they did. That's what God is saying. You fall in the hands of the angry God. Ain't no oh, limit yes, what God man. You You fall. God had me up here and you just collapse. Oh, that collapse, he just kill you. That's the God we serve. You think I don't fear God? You think I don't care what you say? I know I fear God. Fear God. Everybody don't know God, beloved. When you know God, you listen to what David said. David tell, tell his son Solomon in 1 Chronicles 28 and 9. Thou Solomon, my son. Do what? Thou Solomon? Yes. Everybody don't know God. 
a lot of people profess that they know God, but it works. Say it's all you got to do, pray and step back and let God handle it. Because God is greater than man. You don't have to fight. He told Jehoshaphat, you won't need to fight in this battle. The battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. God Almighty is greater than man. You don't have to fight nobody. Just pray and send up and step up and let God handle it. You fall in the hands of an angry God. You in trouble. God ain't playing with nobody. He ain't gonna compromise with nobody. Listen to what the word says. Thou Solomon, yes, my son. Who the oh, Lord God has chosen is yet young. And in First Chronicles, First Chronicles, twenty-eight and nine. And thou Solomon, my son, yes. And thou Solomon, my son, no. It's one thing to profess you know God, but do you really know God? Amen. No! I think this a false. Somebody said, this man got a lot of experience. Amen. Not because he's not out there ever since a no bishop greedy I've been a humble man. Amen. No, he know what God can do. Thou son, my son, no. Who's forever? Exalt himself. Yes. God said, I'm going to make a base out of you. But he that humble himself, that's what Bishop Green has done. He humble himself. I see a lot of people come and run ahead of him, talk big ahead of him, but let me tell them, not around now, but he's still here. Why? Because he humble himself. Thou Solomon! My son. If it's just son. To see people willfully gonna get themselves cut off. It's sad. It's very grievous. You're begging God for mercy. Moses said he fell on his face and begged God, don't destroy them. But God was so angry. One day he just opened up the earth and smothered them up. 200 and closed it up. This is nothing to play and laugh with, saints. This is judgment work. You going up against a God that kill and make alive, wound and heal? Thou, Solomon, my son? No, thou, the God of thy father. I, I believe this. I believe the word. No, thou, the God of thy father. And serve him with a perfect heart. Go with a perfect heart. With the willing mind. You got to be willing. Willing mind. For the Lord searches all the hearts. That's the end of that man. You know, I'll be up here preaching one thing, but God run through my heart. Amen. Amen. So look at him up there. My God. Oh, oh, oh. He searches all. Oh, God, I can get up and say one thing and praise Bishop Freeman. Don't. God says, look at me. Yeah, that's right. Look at that heart. Look at that heart. That's why David says, Search me, O Lord. Know me, O Lord. If you find anything in here that's not right, Lord, take it away, Lord. Take it away, Lord. You, God Almighty, you search at all. How many hearts? All hearts. Hallelujah. He searched the preacher. He searched me up here preaching. He know if I'm saying one thing about him and mean something else at the end of the day, the Lord thy God. Yes. Searches all hearts. How many hearts? All hearts. How many hearts? All hearts. All hearts. And understand the imagination of the thoughts. They are, he understands it in your very imagination. Read on. If thou seeking him. If thou seek it, he will be found of thee. He will be found of thee. And if thou forsake him. Whatever you do, get up. Try your best. When I, when I came in and went Bishop Gurman used to preach, the gospel so strong. 
And I sit there just trembling at the word. Bishop Green will get up behind Bishop Griffin and close out. Oh, search me, search me, search me. Oh, search me, search me, search me, Lord. Shine a light down from heaven on my soul. Oh, if you find anything that shouldn't be.